It's Paul with Shirley Fabrication, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. We'll do a quick video for you guys. Uh, and that, this probably won't be quick, it'll take a minute. First off, I'm gonna say Merry Christmas to everybody, to our customers, to our followers, those followers, those people that don't even follow us, that don't know us. I wanna wish y'all Merry Christmas and uh, God bless y'all. I hope your families are safe and protected during these holiday seasons. Thank you, Lord. For our veterans out there, got, got, I, I personally have one of our workers who is in a, in a Saudi Arabia right now or Iraq, somewhere over in there. He's, he's uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, Paul Hammonds, we love you, my brother. Uh, thank you for your service, and he'll be back with us in a year. So well, thank you to all our service. Uh, thank you for the nurses, doctors, all these people, uh, the first responders, all you people that do stuff, military guys, veterans, women, all of y'all, it's not just men, it's women too that are in the military. We thank y'all, God bless y'all. Uh, you know, in Alabama, we celebrate this time of year uh, because we, we, for us, it's when, I, when uh, Jesus was born, okay, when Christ was born, that's what we believe in here. We believe in a Savior was sent for us, born of a virgin, that's what we believe. You don't have to believe like, like me if you don't want to. I'll still love you and, and co you know, talk to you and stuff. I'm not gonna, but that's what we believe and we thank God, that's what we celebrate. But anyway, I'm gonna do a video right here, this cooker here. If you've never seen one like this come out of Shirley Fabrication. It is for Mr. Robin McCarty out of Texas. Robin's a lawyer out there, great guy. Robin has more cooker than anybody I've ever seen. Right now, I know he currently has a Jambo. He's had a Shirley before. He's got, I mean, I can't tell you. You'll have to talk to Robin. I mean, tons of cookers, tons, 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 tons of cookers. And he, he just liked to buy a cooker, so, you know, so he petitioned me to build this cooker. The thing about this cooker, what you have never seen on this cooker here, you're gonna, you're gonna like it. I like it, it's, it's a lot of work, but it's a double-sided cooker with flip-up doors. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this for you right quick. Uh, this right here is a 30 by 70, has a stainless shelf right here, has a fold-down stainless shelf right here with a paper towel holder, uh, has the dual damper systems, has a huge insulated firebox. The door right here flips up here. This door flips up here. The stack right on this side serves as a stop. I'm not gonna bang it because I'm not sure the paint's totally set up. This grate goes all the way across right here, comes out the other side. It comes all about where he's gonna park and do his catering or whatever he does. So these grates come out the lock. Bottom grate comes out like this. Got a fire poker in there. The, the separation here, he wanted it decked, so we decked it so it looks like a continuous thing here. And uh, it just, that's what he wanted. That was the look he wanted. Has a remote re remote grease drain right here where you just flip the handle down, the grease comes out on the tilt. Has a stainless steel shelf with a backsplash. Has custom fenders that we make. Uh, these fenders are made in our shop. Fix to do a video on these fenders. I'm gonna get a sledgehammer fly in here and beat them with a sledgehammer and show you they'll still be just like they are today. But anyway, have a probe insert here to catch your meat, probe insert here to catch your meat. Come around here, Sharon. Again, this shelf folds up and down, just like that. Got a Shirley Fabrication tag here, probe insert, our dual damper system that allows you to do so many different things. Huge, huge, huge insulated firebox. I added a searing grate in this cooker because on a huge insulated firebox, my, my deal is I think the searing grate, it has the tracks and I think it helps internally brace that huge firebox. Cause you've got a quarter inch plate in here, two inches of insulation that we use in the refinery and heaters that run up well over a thousand degrees. And then you have a quarter inch plate on the outside. So I put the searing grate right here. Fire poker's in there. We got a little tab welded on right here where Robin can just take his fire poker and reach up under there, or grab right there and pull the grate out. It's great for reverse sears. Fire management fire basket right there. So that's a huge basket right there. It's uh, that basket is an upgrade, I'll assure you of that. But it's gonna be great for Robert. Uh, we, we do ours a little different from other people. We can put some extra bracing in and uh, we got a double, you know, a double layer of wire right here. I've got, I see right here. I might get them to add one more piece of wire in the bottom right there in the morning because they didn't know, they didn't know, understand this. That's what I wanted. But anyway, that's what it is. Here's the basket. Ash pan up, up under there. Has three levels of grates right here. 
three levels of grapes right here that two restaurant pants are, pans are set on. This comes out right here. It's got an elevated grape in this, in this pan right here to where if he just wants to do dedicated cooks or grilling or whatever in here he can. That saucer rod, three big racks right here that are 26 or 27 by 27. I think they're 26 by 26, hey. Uh, but anyway, it also has a heat deflector under there. So you can do a number, a number of things. Again, I really like this. Three quarter inch thick, get right here, Sharon. Three quarter inch thick plate door. Uh, go to the other side, Sharon, where I'm doing this. Uh, go on over there, okay? Come over here. You've got this side right here that goes up also. Uh, and I can grab that handle right there. I'm just kind of leaning in. Uh, see, I can, I can get it. I'm short, but uh, you got grapes right here. Here, here. So there it is, set up just like that. He can cater on either side he goes to. Stainless fold down shelf right here. Got another Shirley tag on this side. So uh, guys, I'm gonna tell y'all, uh, custom with rims and tires. It's just a slick rig, guys. A little CD in there right here that we decked in, where if you wanna sit down there or whatever, but it just looks, it's captured with expanded metal right there where it just looks neat. Nice. Come on up here, Sharon, again. Uh, thanks, Sharon, my wife, for doing the video. Y'all, she had COVID last week. She was perfectly fine. Uh, she was tired in the evening. I told her, I said, you're tired, Sharon, because you've been in there wrapping packages and cleaning house all day and stuff. But we fared well with it. Thank God for that. Everybody I personally know has fared great with it. I didn't get it. I've been around her, and I've been around numerous People, I personally don't wear a mask. That's just not what I do. And I haven't got the COVID yet, thank the Lord for it. So, anyway, uh, that's that cooker right, in, right here. Come on around here, Sherry. She's doing a good job. She's doing a great job. Come on around a little bit more. Robert wanted a bell end on this pipe, so this is what I haven't told you. So I had, I, I got a hold of some 3 8 Normally on a 30 inch build, the pipe's going to be .25, which is quarter inch. I got a hold of some 375 wall pipe. Talked to Robert, I said, you want 375 wall? I've got some, I got a hold of some, and you know, it is expensive. But uh, he said, yeah, do that. I said, let me tell you what I would do on the baffle plate uh, on this cooker if it was me. I would put a 3 8 baffle plate. Any cooker that I do is a 30 inch diameter, I'm gonna highly recommend that you upgrade to a 3 8 baffle plate. Because there's so much heat going in that cooker, I feel like as far as retention, uh, Longevity on the cooker, it's gonna last forever. Uh, I feel like, number another thing, with it heating up real, you know, like it does, that it will help radiate more heat. That's just my opinion. I'm not, the, you know, I'm not perfect on all this, but I know what I'm doing. Uh, that's what I would do if it was my cooker, so he did upgrade to a 3-8 baffle plate. Two, on the inside of that firebox, it's a quarter inch thick, two inches insulation, and nobody insulates the bottom of the firebox. I'm telling you, most people don't do it. We do. We don't have to do it. I'm gonna talk to about that. But it's quarter inch thick uh, plate, two inches insulation, and then quarter inch plate on the outside. Sand, you know, insulation sand, sandwiched in between. And I went in back and I said, hey, if it was me, I would go back and skin the bottom of that firebox with three eighths plate. That'll make it five eighths thick on the bottom. This cooker will last forever. This cooker will go into generations. So anyway, again, you come around here and look. I want you to get a good, good side of it, Sharon, a good slick view of it. Man, I mean, it is a, it is a jam up cooker. Another thing he wanted, uh, this is not a propane tank. I took the bell end off a propane tank and it was welded on here. Uh, some of this weld is not ours, so it's just the weld that was on the propane tank to give him the depth I wanted to get the airflow correct. I cut just beyond the, the well that was welded on the propane tank, so it's here. Uh, it is, uh, man, it, it's phenomenal. As far as somebody says, can you reach? Can you, is it hard to reach? The cooker, I actually had it down closer to the ground. I cut it loose. I didn't like it, but I felt like it was too close to the ground on the back, so I raised it up two more inches. It might have been fine, but I felt like going up a hill or dragging backwards it might drag and I just I felt like this was the thing to do so I made the executive decision did it but yes I'm five feet seven I'm short short arm uh, and I can reach it okay just like that and oh woo, I hit my leg and just like that so Robert Robert is five 
10, he'll, he, he'll be up there. Come back around here, Sharon. I'll show you something. These doors do not have gaskets. I'm going to send Robert some gaskets. They are so tight. These doors are fit so tight, they don't need no gasket. I mean, normally these doors, when we weld them, so we seal well all around here. They both, these just did really good. Probably the best ones we've done, especially on the build this side. Uh, so normally you will put, we do put gaskets on them. But on these tanks like this, it will. Well, it's not a perfect tank. But anyway, that uh, we just you normally put gasket. I'm gonna send Robert some gasket if he wants it. He can put it on. Oh, uh, what did I say? LED lights on this trailer. Uh, I'm gonna stand right here, Sharon. I'm gonna pause from way over here. I'm gonna close this thing up. I can reach up here and close it. Sharon, come around here right quick. quick. I'm sorry. And then I can reach up here. And close it easily. So yeah, you can get these things. Again, you look at these doors, these things are tight. You can't slide nothing up under them doors. So uh has a removable tongue on it. Uh it does have a removable tongue. And they, the guy ain't put the pin in right. We're gonna have a conversation about that in the morning. I done a video on that, and that pin's not in writing it. It makes me mad as fire. I have preached it to them ten thousand times. Put the freaking pen all the way through. Sharon, in the morning when I'm at the refinery, come out here and tell them what I said. That ain't the way the freaking pen goes. It's, I'm sorry about that, guys. I just get very mad about that. Uh, disturbed me. Again, those, this shelf fold up, removable tongue. Uh, and I asked them why they did that on that pen in the morning. I showed them in here the other day, a couple of new guys, and said, you put the freaking pen all the way through. So, anyway, that they, oh, man, right now. Anyway, this is Robert Cooker, and uh, thank you for your business, Robert. Again, I'm going to take this, I uh, got this Shirley, got my Shirley do-rag on. I like these things. They're uh, very thin. Man, you get a noggin like mine, you'll need one. Uh, but I think that's pretty much everything. I will say this. You look at this right here. This stack has to be open. Had to be open for these doors to open up. It was the only way I could do it. The only way I thought and thought and thought. I could have made a rod where it reached up in there and open it, and I'm not doing all that. You're going to open your stack anyway when you cook it. So that you open that stack like that, you, open, you can open both sides. And it will actually, it will actually go all the way open and drop down. Drop down like that. So anyway, Robert will figure that out. He's had enough cookers and, and cook up. I did put a little gasket material right here when, when this door was open. Uh, but this door is dry, cured. It's not going to dang it up or anything. You just don't want to open this cooker with that turned around. It's going to hit it. We had to put an offset in the handle to make it work right. Tyler got involved in that. It's the only way we can do it. Again, uh, 30418 stainless steel. I'll do another quick. Let me just do this while I'm doing this here. Uh, this is off. Uh, Another cooker right here I'm gonna be sending out tomorrow. This is shipping out, this is shipping out, and the other one's shipping out tomorrow. Uh, so anyway, man, I just lost my train of thought who this cooker was for. Oh Lord. Hold on. Oh, uh, I'm sorry guys. This cooker right here is for Robin McCarty. That ain't Robin McCarty's cooker. Where is the bill sheet? Okay, this cooker right here, I'm sorry. Good Lord. I'm not doing good tonight, fellas. I've been at the refinery 12 hours. This is Greg Williams' cooker, okay? So uh, it is a 24 by 48, maybe 48. 24. I built a cooker about 42. We built so many customers. 42. It's got a couple of racks in there. Has an extra slide right there. That's what he wanted. Where he can move his crate up. Uh, let me see. Uh, stainless steel shelf with a backsplash, rotated warmer, door swings away from all the stuff, half inch thick, uh, half inch thick firebox. It actually has a seven eighths inch thick top on it because the people that cut it messed up. So, uh, it's got a, it'll have a bottle up. And then there's a 42 model that I built that's going out tomorrow too. That uh, I actually boo booed on that build sheet. It was supposed to have a hip roof and. I didn't put it on there and I called the customer and gave him an option on it. And so really I'd rather have the hip roof. So Kevin White, the guy that shifts far, put it on the internet and it sold within like three minutes. So anyway, jam up cooker for Robert. Uh, I'm, I'm excited about it. Never have built one like it. Uh, 
It's, uh, you know, of course, the double doors on each side are a lot more work, a lot more expensive. Uh, so anyway, uh, thank y'all again. Terrible video, I know I got off in every which way. Sorry, sorry about that. But again, thank y'all, customers, thank potential customers. Remember, we stand for some things in Alabama. Military is one of them, veterans is one of them. We highly, 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 highly do that. And uh, we believe in Jesus down here. Uh, if you don't, that's fine. You know, I ain't gonna come down here and preach to you or nothing. I'd live how I live. But anyway, thank y'all for your business. God bless you and your families. I pray for safety through this virus, through the holiday season and everything else. I'm out of here, guys.